Hey everybody, this is SW Chris. I'm from SW City and the 8-bit voxel server, and today I'm going to show you how to set up twitch.tv on your Minecraft client. Uh, today we are in snapshot 13w47c, uh, but these instructions should work on most of the future updates you will get, uh, including 1.7.3 and 1.8 and beyond. So what we're going to do is head on over to our Mojang account. And as you can see, I've already logged in. I've got my personal information blurred out so you can't see it. But down here, it says connect to your twitch.tv account. So just go ahead and click on that. It's going to open up the Twitch website and ask you if you want to authorize Mojang to use your account. Now, if you're not logged in, you will need to log in. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, and then all you have to do is click on the Authorize button right here. And that'll take you right back to the Mojang Settings page. And if you look down here, you'll see your Twitch.tv username. That means you are now connected and you can stream right from Minecraft. So let's go ahead and open Minecraft and uh, I'll show you around the settings. All right, so now I've got Minecraft open. Uh, Make sure you are in version 13w47c or 1.73 or later. Otherwise, these options will not show up. Now, if we're going to go to the Options button, and you can also do this from the uh, in-game menu, click on Broadcast Settings, and now you have the quality, the bandwidth, mic volume, the frame rate. Now, these are set to um, PAL settings which is 25 frames per second. Uh, I always increase it up to 30 frames per second because that's what uh, American audiences are used to seeing on television. Um, my bandwidth, uh, I usually stream at 3,000 kilobits per second, but uh, it really depends on your connection speed and, and what, you, what you think you can uh, do. Um, now the quality, uh, just experiment with that. It probably doesn't matter too much, but it might be useful uh, in the future. Now, the compression uh, tells you, uh, I think, how much work your computer has to do to send the stream to the um, uh, to Twitch. So I'm going to keep it at the default setting. Now, there's one more thing here, Twitch chat settings. Now, this lets you view streaming chat from your uh twitch.tv website in Minecraft, so you don't have to keep an eye on the uh, separate browser window with your channel pulled up. Uh, so you can enable it while streaming. Uh, you can always enable it, so it's showing up in Minecraft whether you're streaming or not, or never. Uh, I'm going to keep it on while, streamer, while streaming, and the user filter, it, you can set between all viewers, subscribers, or moderators, if you have a lot of followers in your chat room, say over 50 or so, uh, you may want to lower it to subscribers or moderators, uh, maybe even uh, less than that. But uh, the next thing we need to do is select our broadcast server. You always have to connect to a server. Now, this shows the EU ones and the US ones. They're all mixed together. And we have this little funny thing right here. What this is doing is it is... Set, uh, testing the uh, latency to each server. Now, you're going to have to wait about five minutes for it to go through all of this, uh, or you can just pick a server nearby, which for me is San Francisco. And once you click on it, it's going to say preferred. Uh, that means that th it will always try this server first uh, to connect to. And if it can't do that, then it will probably try a different one. So we're going to go to San Francisco and we're going to click done. And then we're going to go ahead and click done here. Okay, now we're going to go to controls and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you will see the three settings for streaming. We have the pause, unpause stream, which the default key setting is F7. If you show commercials in your stream, you can set a key binding for that. And... To start the stream, you simply press F6, and that goes the same for stopping it. So, we're going to go in world, and we're going to look around here. Now, I am pressing F6 right now. And you see that little button in the corner that tells you you are streaming. 
Hey everybody who is seeing this for the first time. So I'm just going to run around here a little bit and then we will go to the Twitch chat and uh, capture some footage from that just so you can see it. Okay, and as you can see, I am streaming here. It is live. It is showing my menu box because I'm currently recording this. But it's pretty low latency and it's pretty cool. The only thing it doesn't let you do as of this moment is uh, show a webcam in a corner somewhere. But I bet that's only a matter of time before that comes. So anyway, if you appreciated this tutorial, uh, go ahead and leave a like and uh, tell your friends about this so that uh, the word can get out. And don't forget to subscribe because I do tutorials like this every time we have a new feature. Uh, they're really uh, helpful, I think. Uh, people really appreciated my how to do custom sounds tutorial. Uh, if you wait just a few seconds, uh, you'll be able to click straight through to that one if you're interested in that one as well. So. Uh, I'm going to leave it here and say Arrivederci, Arrivederci, hasta la vista, goodbye.